Hi guys, in this particular video, we will talk about how to install MySQL database into your Windows operating system. So for doing the installation of MySQL database, so go on Google and type MySQL database and scroll it down until you find out MySQL installer 8.0. Click on the particular link. This particular link has also been provided to you in the video description and uh, you will find out on the top MySQL community download. So I have also pasted this, this particular link into your notepad for just to see it clearly. So once you go on this particular link, go and scroll it down and choose the version of your operating system, whatever you wanted to download. Here you have two options, either 8.0 or either 5.7 something. And I'm just going with 8.0 and you can just select the operating systems. So right now we just have, uh, down, we are downloading for Windows. So you will just find out Windows and download the first one that is the 64-bit and 32-bit Windows MSI installer. So click on this particular download button. So it's going to be a 2.4 MBO file. So once you click on that, so it may start installing the MySQL database. If not, so you will find out an option on the left hand side that is just uh, start my download. And once you click on this start my download, the file will be downloaded for you and so see like we have downloaded the file so open the file and start clicking on the installation so might be it can ask you for yes or no prompt so click on yes and you see the installation part has been started so right now for installing we have multiple option either to go with mysql server mysql full or custom so in case you can also go with custom option or either you can go with full option so right now we will be uh, selecting the full option so here you can uh, see like all these things has been mentioned like you can just download the mysql shell mysql examples mysql router and mysql workbench so select on the full and click on yes again and uh, if you click on the yes again so it will when you click on execute it will start downloading all these particular file from the internet so as we have downloaded only 2.4 MBO file, so it may just take a minimal amount of time for downloading all this particular file and you can wait for this duration once the file has been completely downloaded in our operating system. So see one by one, one, the, one, one, by one the files have been downloaded and once you find out the files has been downloaded, you will find out a green signal here. So this green signal means the file has been download it success successfully if not so you can just check out our top video like how to uninstall mysql database and then you can just perform the installation part once again because might be you may have some of the configuration file which is left out from the previous version so as we see like the complete things has been downloaded we get a status symbol as complete here and a green signal on the left hand side so just go on the bottom one and click on next to go to the second step so we select on the next button right now and see how the things will go ahead in this particular case. So I'm just telling you, uh, just make sure everything is complete, complete. Click on next, next, next. So right now, if you see the MySQL database is running on port number 3306. So that has been clearly mentioned here. We are not going to change any of these things here. Click on next again. So it may ask you about the security or authentication purpose. You can just go with the default one, click on next and give your password. So this password is for your root user. So give it as per your choice, like uh, either you wanted to give a strong password or a weak password, it doesn't matter. So because right now we will be using it for the learning part. So make sure to give a small password, which you can use it very often. Click on next because right now the user is user part we are not discussing and uh, click on next again so it may ask you like you wanted to give the all the authentication of your database table permission so we will be uh, accessing everything possible here so just go with the default option and click on next again and once you click on execute it will just check every services whether every services is running perfectly or not so it will just check it meanwhile for you so just wait for the duration until and unless uh, it gives you a check option on every services here so we wait for the other two services and right now we see everything has been green signal so click on finish right now and once you click on the finish so we still have to do two more things so we'll just check it what are they 
click on next 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 now here at the bottom you see like it will ask for the authentication so give your password which you have given at the time of installing the database and click on check so make sure you get a green signal like connection successful click on next next execute and it will just do the last two checkups and once the two checkups checkups are done so just click on the finish and your mysql database will be completely done okay so just to verify like whether the services has been installed whether the mysql database is running perfectly or not so you can just search mysql workbench or mysql shell so shell is a cli base or, or a command line interface where you can run your database or you can just go with the default option mysql workbench so we are going with the mysql workbench so select on the connection button on the bottom one okay where it shows root password so click on this connection option give your password which you have given at the time of installing click on ok and once you click on ok so you will find out uh, the workbench will be open so these are some of the files which i already have so don't worry about it and uh, you can just check whether the thing whether whether these things have been working fine or not so right now i have i already have a shakila database so i will be using it and i will verify it whether uh, these things are running perfectly for me or not okay or you can just run your queries just to validate everything is fine or it's running smoothly so so right now just we have installed mysql database into your windows operating system so i hope you have enjoyed this particular video so kindly like and subscribe to our youtube channel have a great day